Hi hey guys, welcome to fourth grade, chapter three, lesson one. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so this lesson, it shows you different ways to multiply. Um, we are gonna go ahead and use our box method. Um, it seems to be the easiest way for everybody to learn how to do this. So we're gonna actually go ahead and do it that way. So we're not gonna have and double, okay? We are going to, we're gonna draw our box. And put our 20 plus 2, because 22 is 20 plus 2. And we're going to put 80 over on the side. Okay. So now, 8 times 2 is 16, and there's two zeros. And then 8 times 2 is 16 again, and there's one zero. So now I have 1,600 and 160, and I just add those two up. So now my answer is 1,760, okay? We're gonna do a couple more just to work us through this, okay? So I'm going to draw our box. We're gonna put 50 plus two, and we're gonna put 30, okay? So three times five is 15, add those two zeros in. 3 times 2 is 6, and there's one zero there, okay? So now I have 1,500, and I have 60. Add those up, and I get 0, 6, 5, 1, 1,560, okay? Much easier than trying to have them double mentally using mental math, okay? Okay, so this one, actually, we're not even going to do a box. It's going to be super easy. Ready? 6 times 2. 12, and then one, two zeros, boom, done. Okay, all right, I want you guys to try five, six, and seven on your own. We are gonna go down to number eight, and we're gonna go ahead and do our math, okay? So I'm gonna do it on a fair piece of paper so that I'm not messing up my paper, okay? Does Kenny bought 20 packs of baseball cards? There's 12 cards in each pack. How many cards did Kenny buy? So we're going to draw our box. Okay. And 20 on the side. And 12 is 10 plus 2. Okay. So 20 times 10, 2 times 1 is 2. And then there's 1, 2, 0, 200. 2 times 2 is 4 plus that one zero. So now I have 200 plus 40, 240 cards. I guess I really could have done that on my paper. I had more room than I thought. Okay, the Hart family drove 10 hours to their vacation spot. They drove an average of 48 miles each hour. How many miles did they drive? So, we're actually 48 miles for, for each of 10, mile, 10 hours. So I like multiplying with zeros on the end because I can do that. And then 1 times 48 is 48. So 480 miles. Okay. Okay. We're going to go over to the back. You guys are going to do the left in chat. You totally can. Okay, we are going to go down and do spiral review. Okay, it says Alex has 48 stickers. This is six times the number of stickers that Max has. How many stickers does Max have? Well, if Alex has 48, and that's six times more than what Max has, then I'm going to divide by six in order to get how many Max has. Okay, so I know that six times eight is 48, so eight, so eight stickers, okay? All right, Allie's dog weighs eight times as much as her cat. Together, the two cats weigh 54 pounds. So Allie's dog and Allie's cat, Allie's dog weighs eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, what her cat does, and all together they weigh 
54 pounds. Okay, so we need to know how many pounds her dog weighs. Okay, so 54, and we're going to divide that by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, because there's nine boxes all together. Okay, and I know that 9 times 6 is 54. Okay, so that means that each one of these boxes is a 6. Okay, so now I want to know how much her dog weighs. Just her dog, okay? So I have 6 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 6 times 8 is 48 pounds. There you go. Okay. Okay. Allison has three containers with 25 crayons in each. She also has four boxes of markers with 12 markers in each. She has 10 crayons to a friend. How many crayons and markers does she have now? Okay. So she three containers with 25 and four boxes of 12. Okay. Then she gave away, oh, sorry, 10 crayons. So whatever that total is, she gave away 10, okay? So I know that three times 25, so I'm thinking three quarters. If I had three quarters in my hand, I would have 75 cents. And four times two is eight, four times one is four. So, so before I actually do this, I need to add up 75 and 48, okay? So now 5 plus 8 is 13, carrying my 1. 1 plus 7 is 8 plus 4. Okay, it's 123. Okay, so now 123 take away 10. 3 take away 0 is 3. 2 take away 1 is 1, and 1 can come down. So she has 113 crayons and markers. Okay. All right. The state of Utah covers 82,144 square miles. The state of Montana covers 145,552 square miles. What is the total land area of the two states? So I'm going to put the bigger number up top because it's easier to add that way. And I'm going to put the other number underneath it. And I'm going to add them up. Okay, and whatever my answer is, it's going to be in square miles. Okay? All right. 2 plus 4 is 6. 5 plus 4 is 9. 5 plus 1 is 6. 5 plus 2 is 7. 4 plus 8 is 12. Carry your 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2. Oh, nope, sorry. There you go. 227,696 square miles. All right, guys, good job. Come on back for 3.2. See you soon.